Some suppliers took advantage, though, hoping to make a quick buck. Check out this receipt from a Shell station in Cumming. It shows a driver paid $4.69 per gallon. The state reporting more than 300 incidents of outrageous price gouging. We have team coverage for you tonight on the gas state of emergency with crews investigating the ripple effects of this crisis. But first, let's start with Zach Summers live in Atlanta. And Zach, the pipeline up and running again, but we are not back to normal yet. Not at all, Rick. You know, you, you're seeing long lines at certain gas stations because a lot of gas stations in Metro Atlanta have gone dark or zeroed out, only offering diesel. But the good news tonight, the fuel is flowing again at the Georgia-based company that ignited this frenzy. First off. I'll be over quickly. The last 72 hours have been more than challenging. I think it's just a panic. Drivers struggle to find gas as Georgians rush to the pumps after word spread of a cyber attack at Colonial Pipeline. How many are you filling up right now? 20. Some hoarded as others were turned away. That's being inconsiderate. Late Wednesday afternoon, some promising news from Colonial, which supplies up to 40% of the fuel in the eastern U.S. There you go. Thanks, dear. The Georgia-based company announced that it has restarted its pipeline operations. In a statement, Colonial said it will move as much gasoline as is safely possible until markets return to normal. However, the company warned it could take several more days before that happens. I mean, it's good. I mean, you know, it really sucks for them. It sucks for everybody. Uh, it's less about pointing fingers and more about finding solutions. We just got to try and be smart about these sorts of things and take care of each other. While some are ready to put the gas shortage in the rearview mirror, Governor Brian Kemp called on Georgians to remain calm as not to burden the system even further. Get what you need, but don't get more than you need. Give your fellow citizens the opportunity to do the same and just know that we can, we're can. we doing everything in our power to move the fuel here as quick as possible. Now, President Biden signed an executive order today aimed at better protecting the U.S. from cyber attacks. Even so, the White House acknowledged more will need to be done to block hacks like the Colonial Pipeline ransomware attack. Live in West Midtown, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News. Zach, thank you. This